Steve Sloan, and today's our lucky day. I say our because I'm here in the Bahamas, and you're coming with me to go chase some big, big bullheaded mahi. They're running strong, and let's go get them. The Bahamas are made up of approximately 700 islands, 40 of which are populated. Today, we're landing on Long Island. At about 80 miles long and only 1 to 3 miles wide, Long Island is approximately 250 miles off the Florida coast. While in Long Island, I'll be staying at the world-famous Stella Maris Resort Club, or as I like to call it, Heaven on Earth. The resort comes complete with expert fishing guides who will help me as I go after the giant mahi-mahi and the ever-elusive bonefish. Welcome back to On The Hook. We're on Long Island in the Bahamas, trolling skirted ballyhoo, and right now, we're all hooked up. All right, it's complete mayhem and madness right here. We got mahi all over the place. What do we got? Four or five on right now. Three? Three? We got three mahi, and the absolute reason is, if you get a shot at that bird up there, it's called a frigate bird or a man of war, depending on really where you, what island you're on, which is just an absolute sign that this mahi. By far, this is the biggest mahi I ever got. What do these fish do sometimes? They'll try to get out in the side of the boat. The big ones will go out in the side of the boat, and they'll just angle with the boat as it's rolling slowly forward. When that happens, it's like just a gigantic rudder, the way that body is shaped. Very aerodynamic as you look down the middle of the fish and wide. And right now, he just came to the back of the boat and he is just planing down, just nosing his head down, pulling real hard. I mean, I don't want to put too much pressure on this because this guy's a big fish. There he goes. Now he just gave up a little. He was just nosing down. I didn't want to put too much pressure on this. We're only using 50 pound line here. He wasn't taking too much drag, but he slowly was. And I certainly didn't want to reel on him. But what just happened is he gave up a little bit. You can feel he got tired and now I'm able to pick them up a little bit. Right there. See that? I just got about five or six cranks. He's giving up. Wasn't able to do that earlier. Now he's coming up. A lot of blue. Look at that. It's coming up, guys. Coming up. This is a big mahi. Oh, man, is it? He's like 10 feet long. He hasn't given up yet. Yeah, but here he comes. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of fight. We got him close. I think he saw the hook. And God was like, you ain't taking me that easy. We had him close to, to getting, oh, gaff. In the boat. Oh, he's got fight. And he hasn't given up. Oh, oh man. Oh, he's got me doubled over. I thought he was giving up. Uh-uh, this is round like 10. He's there again. You wanna try to take him? All right, ready? Oh, baby! Oh. <laughs> this is a slob! Oh my good God! Get that! Mahi! Huh? <laughs> right here, my friend. That is a sweet catch. Yep. All right, we're gonna keep plugging away here on the offshore bike. But yesterday, I had a chance to go out with Captain Docky Smith, the Bonafide Charters. He took me bone fishing, some of the best in the world. You gotta try it. Check out some of these bone fish and the way you fish for them. It was a lot of fun. You gotta check this out. In terms of fishing for bone fishing, I assume it's a lot like deer hunting or any kind of hunting, but you do hunt these fish. I mean, you're trying to stalk these fish and be as silent and low profile as you possibly can to be able to get it close to these fish to get a cast off. Right there. Tight, tight, tighten up, tighten up, keep reeling, keep reeling. Set him, set him. All right, good job. Right, we're on. Whoa, he's running right <laughs> for those rocks. Uh, that, that's all right. Good job, good job. He's got to be about 
A hundred yards. I never even saw that fish. I never saw him. I saw him the first time, but on the second one, I never saw him. He picked that up and made an absolute beeline for the shore. I'll tell you what, it's like, you know, I've heard people who fish out in New England or the Northeast talk about bluefish fighting a lot like bonefish, pound for pound, just nonstop, you know, real hard fights, good runs, never say die. Come on. Look at that. Beautiful, look at that, cool. That there is a bonefish. Gonna set this guy back. Nice bonefish coming right at you. We work hard for this guy, Docky. We work real hard for him. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Nice. All right. Woo! All right, real quickly before we go catch another bonefish, or try at least, let's talk a little bit about the gear that you'd use. Very light tackle, spinning mm -hmm. gear. Uh -huh. Yeah, eight pound test and one eight jig. Okay. Yes. Small little jig, yep. little color. Yep. We're tipping it with shrimp. That's it. Just give it a little scent. That's a little scent. And these fish are very attracted to any kind of scent. We were using some stuff before that we didn't think that was yeah, that's, that good. We got rid of it. Yeah, we got rid of that one. And we've had a little bit of luck with this uh, this tip of shrimp, so that's what we use them. Keep keep it going. Eleven o'clock past thirty-five feet. Eleven o'clock. Keep coming left. Way left. Okay, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Let's get it. Slowly, stay low, keep coming, keep coming. Nice and slowly, very slow. Seven, seven, seven. Good job. Oh, yeah. All right. Good job. <laughs> good job, good job. That was sweet. <laughs> Good job, good yeah, job. Yeah, baby. Good job. That was nice. I'll tell you right now, you cannot do this. Anyone who has not bonefish before, you cannot come out here and just think that you're gonna go catch these fish. You need to go with someone who knows what they're doing. I think so. Without a doubt, without a doubt. That was cool. <laughs> good, good job. I saw good those job. fish just at the last minute. You were like, they're right there. And I'm like, again, I can't see them. The one I set up on was the biggest one in the school. Yeah, I perfectly put them right. Those other ten, I, I didn't even look at those. We put them right in front of the big one. You want me to grab them here, Docky? You want to do the honors? I'll come bring them right into you. Look at that beautiful fish. You can absolutely look at the colors on him, and you can tell why they're so stealth. You got to be so stealthy because they're so camouflaged to this. This environment here, it's Definitely. unbelievable. He didn't wait you can't even time. see him. No, he's gone, man. The bone fishing experience for me was very, very, very cool. I really liked it. Uh, you know, I've never had a chance to fish like that. These fish were so stealthy. You had to be so quiet. And to do all that in that element and that beauty was just amazing. All right, we went out and got a humongous mahi mahi. And what better place and setting to have a hook and cook than right here at the grill in this beautiful home. Basically what we're gonna do is just gonna take the nice fillets of mahi-mahi that we have, and just lightly salt and pepper both those. It's the salt and pepper that I got up at the, the house. Salt and pepper both sides. And here's where we get the Bahamian feel of it, okay? The sauce right here, it's called Conky Joe's Pepper Sauce. It's really got a nice heavy and robust kind of spicy flavor, but it's made with fresh papaya and mango. It also has some local hot spicy peppers. All I'm gonna really do on that, just gonna take a little bit of that sauce, mix in some soy sauce, which I got also at the house. Fresh squeeze in some nice lime right in that sauce. Sauce comes out looking like this. It's all mixed together already. Just gonna lightly take these nice fillets, put them in that sauce. It's gonna give it that nice, spicy, Bahamian feel. It's gonna go really, really well. Won't overpower the mahi. Mahi's a very light tasting fish. Won't overpower it. Take these two nice fillets, put them up on the grill. All right, we have a nice, hot barbecue here. Just gonna lay these down. Don't wanna put it right over the hottest coals. Kinda of have it off to the side a little bit. We don't wanna burn it. 
All right, what we're gonna do here, just keep the, the uh, fish nice and moist. We're gonna squeeze some lime on it. That extra lime not only gives it some flavor, but it's also gonna keep the fish nice and moist. And the reason that's important is, just like any fish, but most importantly with mahi, mahi's a very light, flaky fish. You don't wanna overcook it. If you overcook it, it's just gonna ruin the meat. All right, that's a couple minutes on that side. Quick, ooh, that looks nice. Also, once you flip that fish, what you want to do is just put some lime juice on the opposite side. That lime juice is going to keep the fish nice and moist. Add a lot of moisture to that fish and just make sure you don't overcook it. All right, that's about five and a half, six minutes. Fish is done perfectly. Just want to take that up to the house. I'm going to put that on a plate of beautiful vegetables. Eat it up. Come on, let's go. Here we go. What do we have here? It's gonna be awesome. What are they? Conch fritters. Got a little asparagus and bok choy. We're gonna have ourselves a meal. Mmm. So good. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Hey, well, that's going to wrap up another exciting edition of On the Hook. But you know what? Before we take off, I've got to give special, special thanks to all the folks who helped make this such a great show. All the captains, all the people at the resorts, thank you so much. Thanks especially to you for watching. We'll see you guys next week right here on the Hook.